Bye. See you later, sis. Okay. Bye bye. Bye. We'll be back soon. Me and Danielle have been in LA for the past few days, getting to know our potential sister wife, Leah. Leah has some questions about how that would work if she was a sister wife. So I'd like to figure out what's going on, what she's thinking, and um, really listen to her concerns and how she's feeling. You know what's hecka funny to me? My arm's hella long and I'm down there and you like this. Oh my God. <laughs> like stretch your arm out. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> On a scale of like one to ten, like how how much potential do you think we have? Uh, one to ten. I mean, I don't know if I can scale it, but I can definitely say, you know, we we all get along. I tend to be more direct with my questions when I'm getting to know somebody because. It's really important to me to know what the relationship would look like, how it would feel, you know, what the future with them would be like. I don't want to be negative, but I don't want to just move too soon, you know? Yeah. You're moving day by day and step by step. Yeah. It takes a process. It takes time together. It takes, you know, care, patience. You want to sit here for a little bit? Yeah, let's sit down here. So. So do you have like um, an ideal like number of wives that you're gonna have, or are you just gonna keep going as far as you see fit? <laughs> no, I've talked with Roberta and Danielle. They both have kind of felt five would be pretty much the limit. Five? Yeah. So what if I said six? <laughs> like, how does that go? Yeah. You know um, what I mean? Just on, yeah. just in general, on any situation. Yeah. Like, how do you guys, like, balance, like, how decisions are made? Is it majority rules? No, I'd say it's something we as a family mm -hmm. talk about. It could be difficult at times. Yeah, because, yeah. like, what if? Half of us feels God is telling us one thing, and then the other half feels God is saying something else. Because in the beginning, Roberta felt God was telling her that I was not supposed to be with you. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. Um, you know, obviously, I am the husband, so I'm, in a sense, I'm leading. But yet, the wives are there to help support and, and nurture me and go in a good direction, you know, right? So Roberta's feeling un insecure, and, but Danielle is saying, no, let's, let's feel this out. I'm connecting with her. You know, I think we need to move forward with this. You know, when you live a polygamous lifestyle, there's definitely a lot more things to consider when you're adding somebody. You know, you just have to really be thoughtful and make sure everybody is feeling a connection and a love for each other and that we're all on the same page together. You feel like you're a good leader? Um, yeah. <laughs> uh -oh. There's things we need to work through. I feel like the two other wives are more needy, I guess, and I have goals and ambitions. I want to focus on like school and getting through nursing school, getting into my career. And you know, I think that the two other wives would have to really be open to supporting any ambitions of any following wife coming in. That's really important for it to pan out. short little path here, we're like. <laughs> <laughs> with this being our last day with Leah, we are gonna go out for some brunch and talk things over and see where the relationship's gonna go from here. Our first night with Leah ended good, I think. So me and Leah, you know, shared a nice little kiss. 
Danielle ended up falling asleep in Leah's lap while we just chatted for quite a while. It's pretty up here. It is. But definitely she's asking a lot of tough questions and um, I think there's a lot of things we both like about her, but we're not 100% sure yet. Yeah. Look how big that beach is. It's beautiful up here. Well, I <laughs> wanted to treat you to a special brunch and have some alone time with you guys, so. Thanks. <laughs> yep. <laughs> With Garrick, I want to really get to know him before progressing and actually dating, because, like, we're getting to know each other, but he's not really, like, my boyfriend, you know? There's so much to think about, you know? So I have to be sure that the dynamic would actually work. Yeah. So what should we talk about? Well... <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hi. Wow. Oh, thank you. Whoa. It looks so good. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Huh. All right. So, um, how often do you guys date women? We don't really do that. No. It's not like a revolving door. <laughs> one in, the, one in the front, one out the back. No. Like for real, that's a real question. Yeah, I'm the last know. person we dated was Roberta. Okay. Yeah, we haven't dated anyone since her. Really? Mm-hmm. So, yeah. <laughs> so, what was your, like, because I know you were in a plural relationship with your son's dad, right? Mm -hmm. So how did that, how did that come about, like? We went to the same church. And then, you know, we kind of just started talking and he kind of told me what, you know, his situation was. And I met the woman he was with already and we clicked for a while. But I feel like I was young and I'm not going to lie, I was still like partying a little bit and wanted to kind of, I wasn't ready to like settle down yet, you know? Definitely. How long were you with him? Um, almost three years. Yeah, almost three years. Yeah. Good to know. <laughs> yes, girl. Leah's opened up about her living a polygamous lifestyle before. Um, it didn't work out for her. So it does have me a little concerned. It's a lot to think about. I can totally understand. I think when Garrick and I got together, we were super young too. I was 19 when we got married. so. We went through a lot of hard times having to grow and mature too, so I understand that. So. I am a little nervous. I don't know how it's gonna proceed from here. When the path's not clear, we pray about it and wait on God to make that path clear. Because I think if you just move of your own accord, you can make big mistakes in life. True. Man, I'm very excited and open to the idea of everything, but in the back of my mind, I'm a little scared and nervous because potentially I'd be changing my life around completely to get in this relationship. So I have to definitely unpack that and see how I'm gonna deal. So, fingers crossed. <laughs>